wonderful uh, stories and and biology. I think my mum warned me about something like that, but that that must have been another <laughs> another, another sort of painted lady. Um, just on the the question of the, why this happens, are we clear why every ten or so years you get this sudden explosion in the population of this species? Yeah, there's still research going going on into this, but I think there's many factors. That one is climate and this population dynamics. El Nino could have a, an impact as well, and also the effect of, of predators, a particular wasp in Africa. So I, I, I suspect uh, that it's a culmination of factors which then triggers th- this mass migration. You would um, expect to see in a kind of normal year how many in, in the Botanic Gardens? I mean, I, I mean, a rough figure. Well, we, we get them here every year, probably... On any one week, you might see 10, 15, that, that's a guess, but uh, not, not the clouds of them as we've been seeing on, on, on the Buddleia uh, plants and, and other plants. It's a lovely, uh, it's think, lovely image as well, the cloud of butterflies, the sort of kind of, so you, you know, it's not that thing of spotting a butterfly and it's there and it's gone and it's among the flowers. It's, it's there all around you. That's right. And this is a good news story. I spend a lot of my time uh, at the botanics here dealing with uh, programmes of threatened and rare plants around the world. This is not a threatened butterfly. It's uh, one that's found in most continents and it is not threatened. And how lovely to celebrate that. And and it's a good way of engaging people with the natural world. So put aside the Pokemon, put aside Brexit, go out there, look at your wildlife, join in the the big butterfly camp, which uh, Butterfly Conservation is is running at the moment. And uh, let's, let's be inspired by nature not just the beauty, but also to conserve it for future generations. Just on that question of, of uh, butterfly conservation, uh, there's been a lot of concern, obviously, over the last um, few years that numbers are in decline for all kinds of other environmental reasons for some to do with development. Uh, wh- what is the picture now in terms of butterfly populations in this country? And obviously the Butterfly Count is doing very specific work, but what do we know about it? Well, we know that many species are reducing in numbers. And, and if you, those of you that have gardens or window boxes will be able to see uh, a reduction in certain species at certain times of the year. So overall, the picture is not good. And this is mainly due to uh, climate change. It's due to uh, intensive farming methods. It's due to habitat destruction. And of course, not just here in Britain, but across other parts of the world from where these butterflies migrate. And just uh, so people have a sense of, of the season, as it were, for how much longer can we hope to see them uh, this summer? Well, there's not so many now in Edinburgh. They're moving north. Uh, some of them will end up in Iceland. Interestingly, the Painted Lady is the only butterfly to be recorded in Iceland. Uh, but then we'll start to see some of them come back. Uh, so there'll be a, a backward migration, not as many as going up, because many will die on the way. Uh, they have a, a life cycle of two weeks after they've um, uh, pupated and in the, in the, had their chrysalis. So this is about successive generations breeding. So if you look at some plants, they, they particularly like thistles. You may even see their, their caterpillars at this time of the year. They're, they're, they're black with little white spots and an orange stripe down each side. So let's enjoy the whole ecology of the butterfly. Indeed, yes. Simon Milne, Regis Keeper at the Royal Botanic Garden in Edinburgh. Thank you for sharing your enthusiasm and delight. Uh, the painted ladies make the most of them being amongst us. Absolutely. Not just painted, but well travelled. Thank you. Thank you.